got a million things on my mind right now. We're getting married in, what, a week and a half, I guess? It's really close. Also, we have the honeymoon right afterwards, and then I have, you know, my regular work. So, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on, and it gets stressful. Sorry about my car. I think it's low on oil. It's like making that ticking noise. This car's actually been pretty good. I mean, it has 165,000 miles on it. So even if it, you know, burns up on the side of the road right now, I'll probably just let it burn, to be honest with you. I just take, grab my stuff out of here. And I don't even think I would try to put the fire out, to be honest. I just let it go and then call the insurance company. And be like, hey man, my car uh, burned on the side of the road. Yesterday, I went into the dentist. I haven't been in the dentist in a while. I had a dentist in LA, and then we moved up to Folsom, and then of course, you know, moving, and then getting new uh, new dental insurance, and then finding another dentist, and then the delay on a lot of places nowadays, which is crazy, because when I was younger, I don't remember being such delays with doctor, I don't wanna say delays, but such advanced uh, appointment scheduling with doctors and dentists that it seems like it's six weeks out, eight weeks out. That's just crazy. The good thing is I don't have any cavities, so that's cool. It was a new dentist, so of course they take all new x-rays. Then there was one spot where I had a root canal from a long time ago, like 10 years ago. And he's like, oh, you know, they have a little display thing. He's like, oh, you see this little white speckle thing? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I see that. He's like, He's like, I, need, I want you to go into a specialist and they'll do like a 3D scan of the area because it looks like it's the root canal is going bad or you might have an infection. And he looks at it real close, like it could be like a broken, you know, file in there. I'm thinking, a broken file? Yikes. When I was out on my bachelor party, my ribs got all messed up. I don't know, they're like bruised or I cracked one or something like that. So I haven't been working out for the past couple weeks, which I hate because I am a very active person. I want to go water ski, which I've, I've had to put on hold. Shannon can still ski, but we've been so busy with the wedding stuff and trying to get everything squared away and all this stuff. It's just been, it's been crazy. So we haven't been able to play quite as much as we have wanted to. I know better now than when I was younger. When I was younger, I'd just, like even if I got hurt, I'd still push on through and I'd keep, you know, working out. Bad idea, dude, you don't do that. As much as it sucks to get out of routine and to stop doing your stuff, you just need to stop. You need to stop everything and, I mean, eat well, get rest and all that stuff. You let your body heal and then get back on it because ain't gonna do anybody no good if you're gonna, if you are already busted up and you still work out and then you make it worse and then you extend your recovery. Oh my gosh, light just came on. You know when you're a kid and your mom hits the brakes, you know, hard, she freaking slams her arm right into your chest like you're gonna, you know, go forward when you're wearing a seatbelt, like her hand's gonna stop you. But I actually have to stop stuff in my passenger seat because I have a bunch of crap over there and then when I have to slam on the brakes, all my shit goes flying forward. Hey dude, what's happening? So I just left the office and I'm gonna go get some oil, put some oil in the car. I'm gonna be that guy in like the slacks and the long sleeve shirt, changing, like adding oil into his car in the parking lot, which I don't understand why they always say is like illegal. It's like no working on your car in the parking lot. Um, although there's a reason you're going to the auto parts store because your car is broken. I just don't think they want you like hanging out there for hours like doing stuff. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna throw a quart of oil in the car and hopefully that will keep this old bad dog running until she blows up on me. And then my gas light's on so I gotta get some gas but I'm gonna try to get to the Arco because I really hate swinging by gas stations that are like expensive, like 30, 40 cents more expensive than Arco. And I'm sure some people will be like, well, Arco's cheap gas, it's crap. For this car, I don't care, to be honest. And I have to put 91 in this car anyway, so it's already more expensive. So we're gonna try and make it, I don't know, we'll see. Light's been on for a while. Sometimes it makes it a little bit more exciting when you're driving, you know, trying to uh, see if you're gonna make it. We made it to the Arco, which I was stoked on. I was actually cutting it really, really close. This gas station is kinda 
not on the nicest area so hopefully I don't get hit up and I know that sounds really bad but literally just a couple of days ago I got hit up and I was like hey man I was actually on the phone in my car and sitting here on the phone in my car and then there's a guy like pulls up like on a bike and I think I I talked about this the other day or I tweeted about it or something I was like dude how, how are these people like they look like you know homeless people or people that are asking for money they're riding around like full suspension mountain bikes like expensive mountain bikes and I'm always question like uh, that's kind of interesting how you uh, attained that uh, nice bike considering you're you know riding around asking for money so I'm on the phone and the guy's kind of waving his hands. I cracked like the window just a little bit. He's like, hey man, do you have like two bucks? And then he kind of paused and then right after that he said, for some food. And so, um, I don't know if you guys know or not, but I eat like a plant-based diet, so I don't eat any, you know, animal product stuff. So if I do come across them or I get them from some random reason, I keep all that stuff in my car and I will give that to homeless people or somebody who asks for money for food. But most of these people, like, they don't really want food. But as soon as he said food or whatever, then I grabbed a bar and I gave him the bar. And then, of course, like, I think immediately afterwards, I'm like, well, okay, like, he probably just threw the bar in the trash or away. But, you know, I mean, I still, I'm still going to do that. And if somebody's asking for money for food or if they say, hey, I'm hungry, um, then I'm going to give them, you know, some food. And if they throw it away, they throw it away, which, you know, sucks because that's like, new food that I'm giving them. I'm not really specifically one to just hand out cash like for somebody and I don't know I guess everybody has different ideas like about that and it's like oh you know you should help them out but I don't know I, I like I said I help them out like if because I'll usually have a bottle of water or I'll have food and I'll give them that and I know you don't like use that just to live like people need more than just you know food and water but I don't always know what they're going to do you know, with it, they're gonna go buy a bottle of alcohol or go buy drugs, it's like, a fucking waste of fucking money. That's kind of my little, like, rant, sort of, on that. Um, but, uh, you know, I try to help people out. I'm gonna fill up the car and then uh, get moving on and go hit up some places for work. All done with work for the day, so I just got home right now. Dad's home! Bandit's the first person that always comes and says hi. Hello, Love hi. Dad. Hello, so Anna. much. Hi, Daddy. I'm on the phone with my mom. Tell her I said hi. Trap says hi. Bandit's always the first one. Big cat. Yeah, Rhonda, Brenda, and You're always uh, the first one ball. to say hi. Who's a big cat? Ball, Dad's Who's a big cat? You come here. I know you don't, but I'm just saying. Honey, I'm so proud that you're walking. No, but I'll, I'll call okay. As Shannon says, I'm okay, gonna end this vlog. Hold on, hold on, don't stop okay, love you, Mom. <laughs> What'd you get? You gotta show. Somebody you gotta me. show. Look at this. Everybody. Uh, oh wow. Isn't that so cool? It's from a company called Price Tribe, and the owner sent this to me for our honeymoon. Hey guys, our camera died. I'm vlogging for Trav. <laughs> Sorry we didn't finish that up. Yeah, it died right in the middle when we were filming stuff. So. But I told Travis he needs to stop editing and come help me with the wedding stuff because right now that's a priority. I haven't even been able to edit for my channel because I've been doing wedding stuff all by myself. I asked him to do one thing. Still not done. Is it? I was waiting a long time for to kiss you. Mm. Is that your way of distracting me from mm -hmm. what you were supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Anyways. He needs to get on that. So we love you guys. We're going to end his vlog for today. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't you're know sending, how you're ending you're it. You're sending all of your positive energy to I'm everybody. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive <laughs> energy. But this is your vlog, so you need a new That's outro. okay. You can hijack it. No, you go. We'll leave it at that. And no, do an, in, do an outro. I don't have an, in, an outro yet. If so you guys have a good idea go for without. Travis to have a new outro, let us know in the comments below. We love you guys. Mwah!